look in your eye. I wish you were looking in my eye. Hiya. Welcome back to the channel. So today we've got an issue with this shit up. If you look at these there, you can see that they're turning, but then if I do this, yes. We can see that we've got an issue, which I'll try and show you. Yes. So the engine's turning, but nothing else is. Because the pulley's fucked. So the aim of this video is going to be to try and change that pulley. Which first I need to set this off. I'm going to have to take a few things off, which I've taken off in previous videos. Um, so I probably won't show it in that much detail, but I need to take this off, which just carefully removes like that. And then I need to get this cowl off. But to get the cowl off, I need to get the fan off, which is a uh, 32 millimeter spaniel like so and it is left on thread now last time i did this i had to grip that other part of it and turn it against it but i'm hoping that it's not too tight this time i'll be able to undo it by just knocking this shit up nah so actually in fact it was extremely tight and i had to um, put another spanner on it which then resulted in me turning one sp uh, two spanners into one spanner so now i've got like one specialist spanner for taking fans off bmw's so i'll keep that as a specialist tool and just get on with taking the shitter apart yes 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 back here now you can see there the viscous coupling isn't very strong so look what it's doing look look at that what a waste of time Yeah. And so now as you can see, the fan is removed in a safe place. But it's time to remove the cowl, which we can disconnect the fan first. And then um, remove this torx bit, this T25. And then putting it in a safe place. Not forgetting this stupid plastic rivet and the fan and the fan cowl should be able to come out pretty much oh no there's that shit there that needs pulling off as well I forgot about that there's something there that i need to pull off i can't remember what it's for but it needs taking off it just clips into place so now the fan and fan cowl just pulls out yes and now that is out of the way we can see the offending article and we can also see what it's held on with which is four of these um e12 so if i put one of those on and these according to the torque settings are not ridiculously tight uh, 40 newton meters plus 60 newton meters plus 60 newton, sorry 40 plus 60 degrees plus 60 degrees again but they are only m10 so they shouldn't be ridiculously tight let's see if we can get them undone like this no it's all going to turn in it so now I could either um, lock the crank up or something along them lines or just try using this. Yes. That is one removed. Yes, look. Look at that. Yes. Wolf it out. So let's do the same with the other three and all that none of them snap. Because these are stretch bolts. Yes. Now repeat that for all four bolts, but as you can probably see, yes, all four bolts are now loose. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and release, release the tensioners and take the belt off, um, so I can uh, also I can take this off. Um, just make a mental note of which way the belt runs. Normally I'd draw a picture of this, but I've got it recorded in front of me, so I don't really need to do that. Now, I would have taken that off first, um, but I thought the belt being still on and the ancillary is still attached does sort of help stop the pulley from turning a little bit. But then I just buzz the shitter off with buzz gun anyway, so fuck it. 
Right, let's undo that. And this one is a 16 mil, which just needs pushing downwards like that. And then the belt just needs removing in a rather obvious manner. And then the next one is a 20 and 4 mil, which releases by being pushed something like that. As you can see, nice and carefully. Yes. And now this pulley should, as you can see, should come off. Oh no, it shouldn't, because they haven't taken the bolts all the way out. Dick. Try again. Yes. And these bolts, well, they're extremely long than I thought they would be. So I'm going to sort of hold the pulley in that sort of orientation to pull the bolts out so they'll fit. Because if you have it that way, then they hit the radiator first. And then the pulley won't fit out. Oh, it don't seem to anyway. I haven't really tried that hard. It didn't seem it was going to fit out with that bolt. Oh, no, it will look. Yes. And now that shit is out, we can actually have a look at it and we can see that it is in fact completely fucked. Um, that bit, that bit goes to the crank and that bit goes to the belt, as you can probably appreciate. And, um, well, it's just been spinning round and round and round, which is really sick. So. I've got a new one of them on its way, but also, while I'm here, I am going to change these belts because they're not in the best condition neither. So let's take, let's pull them shitters out and just have a look how bad they actually are. So that is one of them. And, uh, yes. And just in general, I mean, I've never changed that since I've had the car, so it's probably pretty old and fucked. And not forgetting, the main long bastard that just goes around everything and fucking hooks onto everything, as you can clearly see. Um, somebody managed to tie a knot in it. I probably should have taken this off because it's like six bolts or something, but fuck it, I like to struggle. Let's carry on as we are. Yes. Yes. Yes, so now the new parts have arrived. So I've got new belts, I've got a new second hand pulley, because uh, they're like a million quid um, for, a, for, a, for a new one. So I've got a good second hand one, and then new bolts, because these, I am told, and they do look like they are, are stretch bolts, so that's single use bolts. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put that shit back into the place, I'll put the new one of them, where the old one came from like that and then i'm gonna put these nuts sorry these bolts not fucking nuts these bolts i'm gonna wind them all the way in by hand and then i'm just gonna do that for the other three as well and next i'm gonna use something that i uh rarely use on this channel and that is a torque wrench. A torque and angle, actually, it does both. But I need to set this to 40 newton meters to start with. Oh, you yeah, fucker. Now, I do need to lock the crank up to do this, really. But I've got another method. So now I've done them all to 40 newton meters, the next step is to do them to 60 degrees. And then the next step after that is to do them to 60 degrees again. Yeah. 
So now I've just got to repeat that process, the uh, 60 degree angle for, well, all the bolts again. Now I'm not going to film that, but basically it's, well, from what I've been told and what I've read, it's 40 newton meters, 60, 60. So that's 40 newton meters, do them all to 40 newton meters, then do them all 60 degrees, and then do them all 60 degrees again. Now I've done them all to 60 degrees once, so now I'm going to go and do them to 60 degrees again. Be honest with you, they don't feel that nice actually, but that's the instructions, that's what I've got to do. And that is now tight. Um, doing the second 60 degrees did not feel nice. Um, they did feel like they were going to snap, but we survived it and they've all tightened up. The next thing to do is um, put the belts on. I forgot to mention as well, to stop it from turning, I had to put the car into sixth gear so it was... Uh, you know, just not free wheeling when I was trying to tighten it up. Um, so yeah, let's put the big belt on first because that one's the back one. So there's one on. And another one. Yes. The next thing I need to put back on is this shooter. Um, but it's it's a faff and it's dark. So I'm not going to show any of that because, um, well, I've shown it in other vids anyway. Um, so I need to get that back into there and then we should, you know, I could start it now to see if it works. But you know what I'd rather do? I'd rather put it all together and then when the belt flows off and it's all together, I can whinge about it more. So I'm going to put it all back together first before starting it all. Yes. Yes. So let's see if it works. Yeah. Woo. Awesome. As you might have noticed, it's... Um See, it's magically brightened up from being night time, and that's because the fucking back of the flat, wasn't it? See, that does seem to work, and it's actually um, not making that squeaky belt noise that it's been making for the past two years or so as well. So, yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much it for this one. Um, don't forget to uh, like, comment, subscribe, all the usual shit. And I'll see you next time.